Hey, this is Grant Cardone here, and I recently wrote a strategy about price and value, and I want to share that with you. You might see me look at my notes here a couple seconds because this information is unbelievably valuable to every entrepreneur, business person, and salesperson. Look, dropping price is that bad habit all of us have fallen into from time to time as a way to sell your products or services, or you think, oh my God, it's going to make it more valuable if I just drop price. But dropping price is a shortcut to actually building the value. When I drop the price, does the value go up or does the deal just look better? So ask yourself, what are some ways you could enhance the value of your proposition without, without dropping the price? And you might want to stop this video right now and actually answer those questions. What are some ways you could actually enhance the value? You know, I have this little British flag right here because I'm on a cruise liner and there's people from all over the world uh, here doing a sales workshop with me. And so I asked the question, look, if this thing, this British flag, and we're doing the Olympics right now in the UK, if this is the value proposition, okay, and this is price over here, and this is the value on this side, if this thing's, if this stays equal, in the consumer's mind and in your mind, nothing happens. It is only until some, something moves one way or the other that, that actually action will start taking place. So if, if value goes up, let's say the value's over here, actually let's say the value's in the flag, okay? Let's say the value of this little $1 symbol, the value of this flag, oh I gotta have it, I gotta have it because I'm going to my buddy's party and he hates people in the UK and the UK just won an event and you see, the value goes up because now he has urgency to do this. What happened to price? Price down here with the little tape sticker. Price went down. See what I'm saying? See, when you drop price, just drop price, does it automatically build value? I don't think it does. I think this is what happens. You drop price, everything goes down, including the value. You get it? A client, a client recently asked me, hey, Grant, we, like to, we love your services. We like them. We'd like a $300 uh, we'd like you to lower it $300. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, I can do that. Absolutely, I can do that. From seller be sold, the first rule of selling is to agree. I can do that, dude. I could drop it $300. I could drop it. Hell, I could pay you $300 a month to use my product, right? I'm just agreeing with him. And then I say to myself, Grant, how do you build value? How do you raise the value of the product so price automatically goes down and his decision rolls down toward me? You get it? When value goes up in this proposition, when value goes up, price comes down, and the roll, the close, will come to you. There's a gentleman sitting next to me right now. He, he was in my workshop three or four days ago. He's like, literally every deal I've been on, using your words, your phrases, and your thinking, I have closed. He's closed more deals in the last two days than he did what? Two months. The last two months, baby. I'm talking rock, okay? So look, let's face it. Everyone, including myself, has used price in a deal to somehow make a deal. In most cases, it's not necessary. I'm telling you, I don't care how much they pound you over price. Build the value proposition. Make the value go up and the price in the buyer's mind goes down. You're always gonna have to give some price away to some buyer, some, some person, that personality that's just a price buyer only, only, only price, but in most cases, that's not it, okay? It's a price myth. It's the myth of price being so important. So look, hook up with this article. We'll link it at the bottom of this. Whether you're selling dental implants at $14,000, or you're selling a used car at $14,000, or you're selling a condo at $14,000 for a rental for, uh, for a month, okay? It doesn't matter what you're selling. It doesn't really even matter what the price is, whether it's a $1,200 purse or a $12 million house. If you can't do the value add proposition, no one will see the value in the UK, the flag, or whatever they're buying, okay? Check it out, check out the article, you need the data. Thanks a lot, have a great week. Hey, and remember, build value, don't just drop price.